Hi, my name is James Rice and I work for UJF Real Estate Services. I am the head of marketing and leasing and here today to talk to you about our showing and leasing policy when it comes to um, marketing, showing, leasing in the times of COVID. As I'm sure you guys know, uh, COVID has transformed pretty much every part of everyday life. And along with that, there has been a lot of legislation passed in DC. So I wanted to give you an update on that and how it affects our marketing and showing policies uh, as a result to that re legislation and COVID-19 as a whole. So one of the big things that, that happened in terms of legislation in DC is the tenant's notice to vacate. So when a tenant submits their notice, we require 60 days or sometimes 30 days notice. The tenants would have to honor that. However, they pass emergency legislation where a tenant can literally rescind their notice to vacate up until the last minute of the last day they're supposed to be there. So for example, if they are supposed to move out on October 31st, they can give notice on October 31st that says, hey, I'm actually going to stay, and we would have to honor that. So one of the big things is that we're not able to accept applications or sign leases until the tenant has fully vacated the property and surrendered the keys because if for any reason that tenant needs to stay and they have the right to stay, then we have to honor that. That's, that's one of the things that has definitely impacted our ability to show it and get applications in prior to the tenants vacating because we don't want to be in a sticky situation where the tenant has the right to stay, we have a signed lease with the new tenant, and that's a huge liability risk for you as an owner and for us at EJF Real Estate. Another thing that I wanted to touch on was we are legally allowed to do showings while a tenant is in the property. However, some of the legislation has stated even with providing tenants proper notice of showings, of maintenance, the tenants have the right to say no to anyone going into the property. Even with providing proper notice, at the last minute they could say no, we're not comfortable with that. And it really just causes a lot of confusion and a lot of angry people that we're dealing with trying to get in there to see the unit. So as we just touched on in terms of the legislation passed, we, we've made some adjustments to our showing and, and leasing policy with our units in, in Washington, D.C. So as of right now during COVID, we are not showing a property in a tenant-occupied unit. The reason being is for uh, the reasons that I just stated in terms of the tenant's ability to cancel on us at the last second if they feel uncomfortable and also with their ability to rescind their notice to vacate up until the last uh, second of the end of their lease. But we do have an ability to pre-market the property before the tenant does vacate. The multiple listing service has the ability for us to put the property in as coming soon, up to 21 days out for to starting to show the unit. So depending on the condition of your property, depending on if the tenant's been there for a year, two years, or five years, we want to make that assessment to see if the property is going to be in good enough shape to show it right after the tenant vacates. So for example, if a tenant has been in there for a year or two years, we have a firm understanding that, yeah, most likely the place is going to be in decent enough shape that we're going to be able to show it the day after they leave. If the tenant has been in there for five, six years, we would have to see what the condition looks like because the last thing you want to do is have your first showing and the place look like you know, a disaster. We're going to make sure that along with our maintenance team that we get together and make that assessment. But in a, in a perfect world, if the, the property is in decent enough shape, we can start the coming soon process 21 days out of the tenant's uh, notice to vacate and start pre-marketing it on the MLS and on the website. And then once they have moved out and surrendered the keys, we can post it live everywhere and begin showing the day after they, they vacate. So with COVID, we have um, transitioned and have incorporated a lot of new technology when it comes to showing units. And this is something that we actually did prior to COVID, but we use three different ways of showing uh, your unit. And, it, and again, it depends on the property depends on if there's access issues with the building. The three different ways we show your unit are virtually self showings and in-person showings. So virtual showings, we use a 3D uh, Matterport camera where it captures the 3D space. And we also do a video walkthrough. So if someone's not comfortable in seeing the unit in person, we can send those those links 
and they'll be able to virtually walk through the property. And it also does have a virtual reality set up to it as well, um, where they can you know, put on the goggles and, and, and go through it virtually. A self-showing is where we install a lockbox with keys and they provide us a picture of a photo ID. Once they do that, we'll send them the code to the lockbox, we'll be on the phone with them while they're in the unit and they'll need to make sure that their keys are put back in the lockbox after they vacate. This is something that's it's in our management agreement as well and it's something that we've definitely utilized and has been very effective in getting units rented uh, quickly in DC if, if for any reason we're not able to, to be there in a drop uh, of a hat notice. And then the last one is, is in-person showings. This is the, you know, the same old process where we would stop by and, and show the property to the tenants, get them in there and answer any questions they have. In all three situations, we are going to be their, their point of contact and make sure that they have all the necessary information and that they have the ability to apply immediately if they are super interested in your property. So in conclusion, we understand that this is not a perfect situation. However, COVID-19 has, has totally transformed and changed a lot of different aspects of normal everyday lives and showing and leasing is one of those. Um, so you know, the, the main point of these is we want to make sure that everyone stays safe. We want to make sure that the tenants stay healthy, the prospective tenants stay healthy, and also our agents continue to stay healthy while continuing to show the property. The second thing is we want to make sure we mitigate risk as much as possible. And by not accepting applications, by not signing leases until those current tenants are fully out and surrender keys, because we do not want to be put into a situation where a tenant, an existing tenant is staying there and is doesn't want to move out and we have someone lined up to move in the following month so those are the two main reasons why we have this showing and leasing policy but with that we have so many more options and so many more ways that we can show and market your property through the virtual tour option through the in-person and self-showing option we've expanded the number of people we can get in at one time during covid which is a good thing and we want to make sure that we can get as many people in either virtually in person or self-showing as possible thank you <music>